really a uh, Christmas spirit or a real sense of, wow, this is Christmas. The numbers have come back like I predicted. Um, it was probably the worst time for uh, sales, you know, retail sales. Um, been a long time, uh, you know, across all areas. You yeah. can see it. Oh, thank you. You can see it when you go out. It's one of those things, Mike, right? They, they, the way they've got the system running is, well, where's the proof? Well, you can't prove it, so it's not true. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, well, you know it's true because you can see it. When you go out, when you go out, there's not as much people around walking around. There's not as much people on the road. Um, you can see people, they're down cast, you know, they're looking at the ground, they're beat. Um, you can just see it. You can just sense it. There's not really, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It's like it's in the air and everyone can sense it. And I've had some great help here. I'll, I'll, one thing I've really enjoyed, hey, Manny, about the guys here is I've met up, uh, well, I talked to the guys off the show as well, Mike. Right. You know, like yourself and Supreme and um, the good doctor has been a, a wonderful help on mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. support. You know, my, my sobriety journey, thank you. But I, I'm very young at that, a lot young or early. It's still early on. But it's made things very clear to me. Um, some things are very clear about the nature of everything. Do you know what I mean, Mike? I know what you mean, Jelly Bean. And I'm very proud that, you know, you've reaching out to other people on the show, reaching out and talking uh, to yeah. others. Because, you know, we're, we're the 100-man army, right? And we are, we we could we could work with each other here. We're 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 big enough to have a community, and we're big en and but we're small enough to interact and hear each other's voice. Yes, yes. And um, as you know, I've been working on my music, and you've seen a bit of that. So I, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. Really enjoying that journey. And I've been um, plugging your channel too, by the way, on YouTube there for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, I know you've said about, um, I've spoke to you a little bit about uh, TikTok. Now, I know TikTok, the one thing about TikTok is Chinese and all the rest of it, but um, you get, I found for my music, more exposure. And um, oh, how can I say this? Don't tell me, well, oh, I want to say this without offending anyone, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Don't you know? People say don't use TikTok because it's Chinese. Well, you know, the truth is that they um, look, they spy on you anyway. Everyone's spying on so you. It's a war of spying. It. It's a war of spying. It's yeah, a war yeah. of spies, right? Just like, just yeah. like if you go back to Lisbon yeah. during, if you go back to Lisbon during World War Two, okay, every single country had their own spies in Lisbon. And they were spying on each other. So you had the Dutch spies with the British spies and the German spies. You had spies all over Portugal and um, spying on each other uh, during World War II. That was kind of weird. And they even made a board game called Spy vs. Spy or Spy Games or something. It's a board game. It's a famous board game where they made – and it takes place in Lisbon during – and they're spying on each other regardless. So if it's the Chinese, maybe you're better off of them taking your info because – Maybe the New Zealand government might be a little bit more harsh to you as a New Zealander talking about certain things than the Chinese would be type of thing. you got to kind of balance it out too, right, Craig? So it's not all bad in yeah, a way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not all bad, but I don't like um, – I, I, I was talking to Supreme about this um, either last night or the night before, you know, just chatting away there. Man, they're trying to start this war, Mike, eh? Up there in the bloody Red Sea area, whatever it's called, you know. That, uh, why, why, why? Because you know how that's going to end, don't you? In six to eight months' time, oh, we've got um, we have got shortages again. Look at that, and it's their fault, and they're making um, someone else. You know, it's their fault. Do, do you know what I mean? Like they did with the Chinese, and the oh, they shut down. 
factories, and that's why we've got all these shortages. They're doing that thing again. They're doing the same script. Yep. And they recycle the scripts and they recycle the headlines and they recycle, recycle, recycle. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is Craig yeah. Cook, our correspondent here for Mike of the Night for a long time now, uh, for a long time, uh, from New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. So we, um, like I said, gas here is just, uh, yeah, what a joke. I went down to the supermarket and I got myself some basics, and that was two hundred dollars. Pesos. And that was <laughs> pesos. So it feels <laughs> like it, doesn't it? And that was like a box and a couple of bags. So it wasn't. It wasn't much. You know, it's just like a joke. Every time you go down there, it's cost more, but it's just the same old thing. But um, yeah, no, it's 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 really bad. Well, what can you do? I mean, I um, I eat at home. I generally eat one to two meals a day because I'm on my own, and I've been doing that for a long time, so I'm okay. And I'm quite lucky because I can do that. A lot of people can't do that, Mike. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, but, I, I don't want to make you feel like I, I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna one up you one on this one. I actually eat once a day, and that's when I get home, yeah. and that's it. Once a day. Yeah, yeah, and I think that because I've been talking to, like I said, Supreme and some other guys now, and so my thing is mentally, I'm getting ready. Mm. I don't, I don't think in New Zealand we will have. I really don't think we'll have troops on the ground here. We might, you know, we might have the Chinese come down because, like for example, in the Second World War, New Zealand is. Uh, uh, oh, you could feed so many people out of New Zealand, okay? It's a breadbasket of the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. um, you can easily feed um, New Zealand, Australia, and all the islands. So I'm talking about 30 to 40 million people. You could quite easily feed 30 to 40 million people. Well, you guys have a Zealand very big fishing industry, a very big milk industry, a very big like meat industry. You guys are pretty big down there. The country doesn't look so big on the map, but you guys produce. Oh. You, yeah, you guys can. Uh, yeah, and you see what happened is back in the eighties, we had this guy who was prime minister who went along as, "Oh, we want to be nuclear free." Now that was him, not the Kiwis, not the New Zealand public. You know, we want to be nuclear free, and we're going to stand up against the world. Well, what a moron! Because I'll tell you what, one of those Americans, um, your fellows bring your. Um, you know, your, uh, what do you call those, aircraft carriers down here. Mm -hmm. It's good for business. You know, it's good for the farmers. The boys go to town, you know, and you know what boys do when they go to town, and it's good. And then those people in those industries, we'll put it that way, well, they go and spend money, and it's good. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I know nuclear free. You know what I'm saying without saying it, right? I know what you're saying without saying so it, Craig. But so when they did that, really, that was the kind of start of the decline, you know, mm -hmm. way, way back then. That was 85 or 83. And, um, and it was quite clever, you know, they thought, well, we'll lead the world. We'll be because, you know, we were nuclear free. We were one of the first countries in the world to be nuclear free. Right. The guy st stood up and got brownie points, just like Jacinda Ardern, just like, oh, uh, what uh, what we what I don't understand, and a lot of New Zealanders don't understand, is uh, how come our prime ministers, or whatever, can go over to the world and they don't get laughed out? Uh, it's because I they're all in the same it. club. They're part of the same club. It's like that WEF. They're a bunch of pathetic losers. They create award shows. They create awards for themselves and give each other awards. That's how pathetic these losers are. So, yeah, but we've got like five million people. America's got three hundred and fifty million. Sorry, if I get that wrong, sorry, please correct me. But if I was like the U.S. president and someone came from a little country like New Zealand, I'd be like, "Sorry, who are you? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm from New Zealand." Well, well, just shut up. You're too small. No one cares what you think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And that's not running us, you know, I'm not running us down and saying, hey, look, you know what I mean? It's not false humility or anything like that. You're calling a spade a spade. I've found that. Yeah, it's like, well, what do you mean they're going to go for the UN? What the hell are you talking about? Where's the Indians? Because, you know, India has got so many people or, uh, you know, the Chinese or, uh, or the Russians. Where's their representation? I mean, they, you know, those three um, nations combined are, are, are more than 50% of the global population from what I can see. With that, you know, without the numbers, you know what I mean, Mike? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, that's just a few thoughts of mine. A um, few thoughts of mine, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Pamela man. loves you. She says, but, I love know, Craig. Really He's such a sweetheart. You guys, please follow me, me YouTube. And, you know, if you like it, just leave a comment. Or even if you don't, just say, hey, Just man, say, I'm here from Mike that. in the Night. Or, you know what, that, that was shit. Or oh, that was shit. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. All no, right. Because you, you know what it's like, Mike. You're I know. A, you're I'm a, spinning sorry, wheel. Rabbiting on. Thank you. Spinning wheel here. Yeah. yeah. All right, was, Craig. I'm going to oh, let you go. Oh, you look good. You look kind of slick there. Woo. Looking good, Craig. Yeah, we're, getting, we're getting there. Put we're the glasses friends. on your. Put the glasses so on your you face. Like... Put the glasses on your All face. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You know we should make a movie together. Look, yeah. I'll put my glasses on. You put your glasses on. Yeah. And the name of the movie will be called Dead on Arrival. Yeah. You don't mess oh, with yeah. the. Yeah. Anyways, Craig, I'm going to let you go. We're going to get more callers on. We'll get you on in the next week or so. Okay, buddy? Yeah, I hope it helped. I hope it added something to you, your show. I might, the only other thing I want to leave you with, is, and I say this a lot, and I've said it to you before, is keep going. Don't ever get down on it, okay? Mm. I know it's hard, right? I'm not going to sit here and say I know the pressure you're under because, because I'm not, because you've got a family and all that. But But what I will say is, you make a hell of a difference, man. Don't stop, mate. Don't let them get you down. Don't let them beat you. Do you, you know, you do it for us. I've been doing it for you, you guys, for and us. I love you guys. And this, and it's an absolute pleasure to be here you with you guys. It. Yeah, and you do it for our father because, um, you know, we do things for our father. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what they did to Jesus? They put him on it. Yeah, so, hey, that's... We gotta remember that, you know. You can't let them get you down, Mike. Because as soon as you got down, that's it. The game over. That one. Yeah. All right, yeah, brother. So I really want you to. We love you, mate. So yeah, yeah guys. I hope that helps. That was something a bit different. Yeah, sober Craig is interesting. I'll go and I'll be back on in a month. <laughs> well, in a couple of weeks, come down. Come back in three weeks. A nice three-year gap. Come back. Unload. Explain. And 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 basically tell us what's going on, okay? Yeah, hey, as you need, my friend, as you need. All right. God bless cool, you. Guys. Bye bye.